So, um, creating uh, this bottle. Um, so I'm basically using uh, Jetter for lay on, on these points and beveling inwards, deleting stuff using Jet Jetter for lay again here, and splitting this area, this bottom area, and selecting and deleting. So I got the half. And I think I'll start the video right here. Um, what we'll do here is um, we'll, uh, what we need in order to create a UV map for this flask, what we need to do is we need to create a texture for that to work. So just create any UV texture and hit create. Um, if you do not create that uh, texture, then you're not going to have this make UVs option active. So this this is going to be shade out if you didn't create a UV map. So you got to do that. Um, should be a been a well. It's arguable. It, it could have been. Uh, uh, create UV map option here, but anyway, um, that is maybe not because um, you might want to do that in a specific way. So anyway, so just remember that it's got to be a you got to make a UV map first, then you can do this. Set the uh, make UVs to you in this case and we're not gonna rotate it 360 because that's gonna merge these points and that's gonna uh, destroy uh, the weight map so we need to say 359 or thereabout so we got this gap and that's that um, looking good what we're going to do though is we're going to run a function called uh, UV to weight and it will select or make sure you got that correct UV map select and you can just create any name and make sure it's set to U and 0 and 100 here hit OK and we got this can't see anything because we need to switch this to weight shade. And there we go. Now, if I set it to lathe it uh, 360, then these guys would be merged, and we would pretty much have something looking like this. You don't want that. You want it to be like that. That creates kind of like a challenge though because these are not. Um, these are not um, closed, they're not closed together, so how do we do that? It's quite easy, what you do is you can select any of these guys and one way is to use construct reduce polygons, but what we're going to do here instead is we're going to use this uh, I don't know, I think this was introduced in like 11. It's like by normal. Uh, I believe that there's a plugin out there as well. But anyway, select by normal update if you change this angle. Remember to click update. Anyway, it's working okay. Hit it all right. And that means I can copy this guy to the background like that go to the foreground again, we're going to select the other side, run that plugin, hit OK, and we're going to activate the background layer. Okay, so now, what we want now is we want this uh, highlighted polygon selection to meet that point selection. We'll do that by using heat shrink. And with the closest point, 
we can set this to 100 and there we go so now we've got a closed mesh you could I guess delete that selection now and we should also have let's see it's a bit tricky getting a hold of that let's go to a famous wireframe mode got that select by normal all right and delete so now we got rid of those inside polygons almost forgot what wireframe looked like so uh, yeah we pretty much got what we want here so we can use this weight information for rotation later on in the layout I believe also um, not sure why you want, would want to do that, but uh, I believe we could also, in this top view, um, if you go to rotate and I go to fall off weight map, I believe, yeah, you can see this is kind of like the, the effect we're looking for uh, in layout. Okay, so um, yeah, but I'll leave this video with that. That's how you create a bottle with a rotation weight map.